Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Wine by the Bay TV. I'm your host, George Bachara, sponsored by Goosehead Insurance, the Bachara Agency. Uh, we are here in downtown Walnut Creek at Bounty Hunters Restaurant, Fine Wine and Spirits. Uh, it is middle of summer, or it's the end of the summer, I should say, Labor Day weekend. 100 plus degrees here this weekend in California, and uh, we're gonna have some barbecue, we're gonna have some great wine, and we're gonna go inside and do a little review, so stay tuned. So here we go, uh, we're at the entrance of Bounty Hunter. Uh, we were shooting outside, obviously, and then it came in. A couple people coming and going. Uh, Bounty Hunter is in downtown Walnut Creek, but it originally started up in Napa in 1994. Um, and as you walk through, you go to the left and you go down their uh, retail area where they have all the wines that you can buy at retail. Um, they have a gift shop. They have spirits as well, as you can see, red wine as well as white wine from different parts of the country. Um, and I believe different parts of the world too. Um, I don't remember specifically seeing uh, any non-American labels, but that doesn't mean they weren't there. Um, and then there's your Bounty Hunter hat and t-shirt for memorabilia purposes, and then you walk past and you see uh, a large array of spirits. Starting with top shelf stuff, going into your bourbons, your uh, scotches, brown liquor, and even um, you see some tequila over there, some Patron. So there's a lot to choose from. And of course the wine is the main attraction. When you sit down at the tables, you can kind of see the wall, the wine wall um, coming through to the table. That's your, uh, that's your higher end in the temperature control laying down. Then of course we got the Bounty Hunter menu. And we went right to the wine list, obviously, to pick a really good wine. Lots of great choices. As you can see, the prices are not uh, low here. This is a, more of a spend, more of a treat. Um, but there's a lot of great stuff to choose from, and we did choose uh, from some good stuff. Uh, we wound up choosing the uh, BV George Latour Private Label 2017. As you can see, very high scores for that one, uh, which is why I chose it, um, as well as some other reasons, of course. Uh, well, we had to pick out some food, too, so we went ahead and did that before we got into the wine. So I wanted to just show you all the options. So back to the food. Sorry, back to the wine, excuse me. The BV George de Latour. It's a classic bottle, just absolutely classic. Well, for a couple of reasons. First of all, uh, BV is a very famous, very old house in Napa. And the George de Latour is one of the premier labels in Napa. Um, aside from that, it's a 17, even though it was a tough year, it's got good scores, uh, as high as 98 points, um, even though I don't go by scores, it is what it is, and also, we're having barbecue, so I took that into account, I didn't want something too floral or something too bombastic to offset, because we're doing a multi-plate, like with chicken, and ribs, and pulled pork, I didn't want to do anything that was too sweet and too uh, jammy to use the chicken. I don't want to talk too much over the course of the wine because um, I think I wanted it to speak for itself. However, um, we're coming up to the food now and the food at Bounty Hunter is just tremendous. I mean, you can see those are plates for two. We did the barbecue plate with the beef brisket, St. Louis ribs, shredded beer can chicken. Um, it did not disappoint me. It was awesome. I mean, everything was so soft, so flavorful, so tender and juicy. I mean, it really went well with the, with the wine too. You can see the array of sauces that they have. Uh, you get, uh, well, we did some, uh, bacon macaroni and cheese is an extra side dish and you get the uh, coleslaw and the cornbread just slathered with butter. I mean it is a nightmare for your diet but it is well worth it. Um, and of course we finished the wine with dinner so we went on to the Paso Robles uh, 2022 Austin and Hope, excuse me 2020. That's a good wine. I mean it doesn't get a lot of love from the critics. Um, 20, 90 points Wilford Wong. I understand uh, that it's more commercial than some of the other wines, but you know, this was our second wine. So 
you know, my advice always is to go to your best wine first and then kind of step down a little bit. Not to say that Austin and Hope is a bad wine. It actually has a lot of great taste to it. I mean, it, it's more powerful than the uh, than the George de la Tour. George de la Tour is more refined. Um, but I think it was appropriate after having all that barbecue sauce uh, to be a little bit more restrained. So we started to wrap things up um, and uh, pay the bill. That kind of thing i mean it was a great night uh, a lot of fun for everybody and as you can see we paid for the fun for people but we got a lot of wine on there um you know you got a 175 dollar bottle of wine 105 dollar bottle of wine two you know dinner for four cocktails i think it's very reasonable considering what we did and for how much but um it was definitely a you know it wasn't a cheap meal out it wasn't a, a quickie kind of thing i don't want to cook that kind of thing i mean it's definitely a treat you can eat there for a lot cheaper, you can drink there for a lot cheaper, but if you want to have a great time and really, you know, let loose, that's the way to go. Uh, you know, spend a little bit more money once in a while and uh, maybe go out less often, but when you go out, you want to go someplace quality and Bounty Hunter is quality. Now I'm going to drop the map in so you can get a quick look at where Bounty Hunter is and then uh, we'll wrap things up, but uh, stay tuned for the map. Here it comes. Okay, another great meal here in Walnut Creek, California at Bounty Hunter. Uh, if you're ever in the area, especially in downtown Walnut Creek and you're not sure what you want to do for dinner, definitely give them a look. Uh, great food, reasonable prices, uh, a lot of great wine. Um, we can do uh, wines by the bottle, by the glass. They also have some great wine flights. So if you want to taste a whole bunch of different things and not uh, get taken to the absolute cleaners, that's a good way to go. Either way, just come out to Bounty Hunter in downtown Walnut Creek. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again next time.